What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless Outdoors. In today's episode, we're out here diving in Sarasota. This first spot here is about 55 feet, kind of just checking the area out. And on my first dive, I spotted an anchor, which isn't something you see every day, and especially a stainless steel anchor like that one, a hitch one. So I knew I had to grab him. It's probably like a 300 something dollar anchor and it had 20 feet of galvanized chain. So definitely worth it on your first dive. So I was pretty hyped up about that one. But overall, this day uh, kind of just got worse from here on out. I mean, saw some good fish and stuff, but I sadly didn't secure the deal on any of them. Kind of just fumbled the bag on all of them. So. As you see here in this dive, I'm headed down to the bottom. I spotted a pretty decent hogfish swimming away from me right there. He's probably about 17 inches or so, 16, 17, something like that. And I was going to take the shot there, but I decided I'd get a little bit closer. And I thought he was going to keep swimming, but he kind of just stayed there. And I really have no idea how I missed that fish. I'm pretty sure I hit him, but I think he just lightly pulled off. I'm not exactly sure, but we were just diving some culverts and just checking the new area out. But this is my next dive on a different spot. We're now on a ledge here, and I had taken a dive before this, but there is a ton of snapper, and I kind of just knew I was going to shoot one before I left. So I, I waited until I saw some big ones, and then I stopped moving. I, I saw some couple decent ones here so I kind of just sat there and started grunting and stuff a little bit later on but I was kind of just following some snapper around because they were going in and out of this rock here unfortunately I was kind of scaring them off a little bit but there's nothing you can do I mean I kind of just wanted to scare a fish and leave because I didn't see anything else but some decent sized snapper so I take the shot on that one right there and Unfortunately, when I get to the surface, I pull the shaft up, I start bringing the fish up, and I let a little bit of slack in the line because I wanted to reel the line up, and as I started reeling him up, he just pulled off. I think this, the flopper just closed and it completely just popped out of him. And then this is another anchor. We met some person, just they were just stuck, and I decided I was going to help him out real quick. The anchor was stuck in a reef ball, and as you can see, there's literally no possible way you can get that out without going diving down there. So, I decided to help them out, pulled the anchor out, and they pulled it up. Pretty cool. Went out. You're good. As you see, they were pretty yeah, excited Yeah, you're good there. to pull it. But, the day was going decent, nothing too crazy yet, and then this dive happened. This is a pretty unfortunate event to say the least um, I was kind of just checking the area out we'd taken a couple dives on this barge and it's it's I think 77 to the bottom or so so the top of it's about 70 72 something like that and the vis wasn't the greatest on the bottom but it was enough to spearfish the wreck and maybe see some grouper or stuff like that but I had, I had already taken a couple dives down to the sand, so I was just going to go to the, the deck of the boat here. And as soon as I get to the deck, massive stingray, probably an 8-foot wide one. And then an easily 55-pound cobia, if not bigger. I landed a perfect shot on him there, but unfortunately oh. I got muzzle wrapped and it didn't go fully through him. And right there, it just completely pulled out. And when I get to the surface, you can hear I'm, I'm pretty hyped up and, and mad about this fish. I mean, I'd never even seen a cobia close to it. Dang it! As you see, I'm not, not the happiest I've ever been, so. I mean, it is what it is. I got over it. I took a couple more dives down there, saw the, the ray, but I didn't see anything else worth shooting, which was pretty pretty unfortunate I was bummed about that for the rest of the day still am a little bummed about it but there's nothing I can do so just kept moving on this spot is now a little bit shallower I'm in about I think it's 
50 foot again just checking out the area this is my first dive on it so just chilling on the bottom looking around grunting making some some noise nothing too crazy <laughs> the vase got a little bit worse towards the end of the day here as you see and kind of just looking around and I spotted a couple decent snapper on my in the beginning of the dive but I hadn't seen anything I really wanted to shoot. I look up and there was that snapper right there. It's probably about 23 inches or so and completely missed him. So as you can tell, the day's not going that great, but we kind of just kept on working the area and stuff, but I wasn't seeing anything else worth shooting. And I was out diving with Paul and my dad, but I kind of just had a terrible day out there. I mean, any day diving is a good day, but I did lose some nice fish this day. And this here is a little clip of me finding an anchor with some stainless steel chain. The anchor was slammed in there because somebody tried driving away with it, but I just unbolted it and took the chain. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button. I know it's pretty annoying here over and over again, but it really helps us out, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.